Hi, uh, we're going to um, take a quick look at a couple things here. So we are going to, we're going to actually take a look at why it is that um, sometimes uh, uh, the grading will be grayed out uh, on assignment in Moodle. So this is a case where you're, you're going in to, um, to edit an assignment's grade and you'll see that the grade has been grayed out for that particular assignment. Okay. So we're going to take a look at a couple of examples of this. Uh, there are basically two reasons why this happens, uh, and they both have to do with the grader report. So um, we're going to take a quick look at the grader report, and we're going to take a look at a couple different things that will go wrong here. Um, so basically, let's take a look at what it looks like first. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and open up um, some grading here. Oops. So we're going to go ahead and open up an assignment. Okay, and 12, there's, so there have been 12 submitted assignments on here. So we're going to click in. Notice that in one case my quick grading is gone. So usually you know if you're grading assignments and you have quick grading turned on, so allow quick grading, you would have a lot of drop down lists on this page. And notice there are no drop down lists here. Okay, so then when I go in and I try to update the grade, okay, so I'm going to update the grade. This has been grayed out and I can't change the grade on here. Okay, so that's the first case. So there, your, my grade has been grayed out. The second case Okay, so that's our first case. So let's take a look at why that happens. So to get to the grade report, I can go in a couple of different ways. Uh, I can actually uh, click See All Course Grades up here. This is one link, See All Course Grades. The other link is if I go down on the left-hand side of the screen and I go to Course Administration and I click on Grades. This is the second way. Okay. So notice that in now my grader report, notice that all the grades here are also just, they're not text boxes, they're just text. Okay, so why does that happen? You know, the grade box is grayed out, the, the, um, the, the, the grades in the course are uh, text, not text boxes. It's because of this, oops, I probably, probably didn't see that. Um, if we click on edit assignment here, so right underneath our assignment, we have this edit button. Okay, this add a button right here. Okay, we're just going to click on it. And notice that we have the option here to lock this item. Okay, if we unlock the item and click Save Changes, notice that our course, um, oops, notice, notice that the grades come back for the course. Okay, so that's how we unlock, unlock that. Now, if we go back to our um, assignment, go back to our assignment, notice that now when I look at the assignment page, or the, you know, the submitted work on the assignment page, that now I have the quick grading intact here. Okay, So now all the quick grading, I can go ahead and change the grades on this page. Now let's take a look at a second reason why the grade, grading would be grayed out. Okay, so what would happen if I put in a grade on this grader report? So let's say, say, say I put it on 100% here, and I click Update. Okay, now if I'm just using the grader report, what looks like just, it looks like what has just happened is I just put in a 100%, okay? Then clicked update and it didn't save, right? Okay, so let's go in and, and click edit grade. Okay, so notice that now if I go and I click override and I put final grade as 100 and I click save feedback.
Okay, so I was doing the last student on the page here. Okay, notice that this grade, it turns brown, right? Okay, so I've overridden the grade inside the grader report. Notice that it turns brown. And notice that uh, my the 100% is right here. Okay, now let's say we try to change this grade. Okay, let's say we change it to 90. Click update. Okay, notice that nothing happened. I have to actually go in and edit the grade. Okay, but now I've overridden this grade. So now I've overridden it, I've assigned the, the student a grade, but let's say I want to go in and change it, but I forget that I've overridden the grade in the grader report. So I come into the assignment. Now let's see how this affects this, the, the screen um, where I'm actually putting the assignment. So notice that now what happens is, so I'm, you know, I'm in the assignment, I was you know, I was on the assignment page. Maybe the student tells me, hey, I turned in some work. I click View, Submitted Assignments. Here, now I'm on the assignment page. And look, oh, wow, all of a sudden, it's not editable, right? And if I were to scroll over and click on Update the screen, you'll notice that uh, the grade box is, is uh, grayed out, right? so I can't change the grade. Okay. So if quick grading is available, the, 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 uh, the drop-down box is not there, there's just text. And if quick grading is not, um, has not been turned on with this checkbox, then if I click update, it's grayed out. Okay, so that is the two reasons why a grade would be grayed out and you wouldn't be able to put in a grade for an assignment. Either you need to edit the assignment, that's up here, that's this button, okay, edit the assignment and unlock the assignment, or you need to edit the assignment and remove the override on your assignment. Okay, so if you remove the override, that situation goes away. And apparently overrides are fairly buggy inside of Moodle as of version 2.2 .2 and 2.3. So I would stay away from overriding grades in general. I would use the assignment to assign grades. Okay, we're going to relock this assignment so the teacher will understand what to do. All right, so most teachers use this lock. The, the general reason why people would use this lock on the assignment is that they, they use it as a quick way to stop students from turning things in. So if that's what's going on, if you've completely finished grading, all students have turned in work that you're going to accept, then locking it would be appropriate. But if you're only using the lock to stop students from turning things in, but you still want to grade things, then locking is not the appropriate thing to do. So let's say that you want to uh, stop students from turning things in, but you still want to be able to grade. So where you would do that is in the edit the assignment. And remember to get to the editing the assignment, you turn on editing at the main course page, and then click on the edit icon next to the assignment to get into edit the assignment. I'm sorry, they call it updating the assignment. So you want to update the assignment. You turn on editing at the main course page, and then click on update. Okay. Now, if you want to stop students from turning things in, let's say on July 5th, you click Enable, and then you also click Prevent Late Submissions. Okay, and that way you've stopped students from turning things in after a specific date, uh, but you can still go in and grade anything that has been turned in. Okay, so there we've pretty well covered the, um, the problem of grayed out um, grades where you can't grade an assignment. So I hope it helps. Good luck.